It's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back today. I got a quick, quick, quick tutorial for y'all, right? I'm only going to do one side of the head, but I'm going to do like a, this is a taper, but I want to take the bulk off the sides because I just want to give it a, like a different kind of look. You know, it's kind of like a shadow fade, but taper type thing. I don't know what's the name of this haircut, but it's definitely a taper involved in here. So, what I want to do with this haircut first, I want to debulk the sides. And I use my two guard to start doing the process. And I use a two guard because I still want to leave, leave it thick. But I just want to bring that guideline up, but I still want to keep it thick. That way, when I get ready to use my clip over comb, I don't have that much work to do. But I took the majority of it off, now I can jump into the taper. Now, uh, once we jump into the table, we just create our first guideline. That's what we're doing, right? We create our first guideline. So I can show you the back. You know, we bring it right up under the ear. That's where we start our first guideline. Next, we come on the side and we get ready to set our guideline, but we set it right kind of low. We still want it in the temple area. We don't want to bring it too high, but just like midway right so this is just kind of be like a basic tape of fade right and i'm using um these gamma clippers right here right and they work well they are similar to the rebels if you don't have them the rebels you can try those out so a comparison of like magic clip that's kind of what they they give me the feel of now we come back we got our one guard right here i use the one guard instead of the zero guard I use that because I know how much bulk is right there. If I use zero guard, it's not, it's just going to take like an extra step for me to do it. But what I want to do is start removing any bulk above that first guideline that we created. You see this right here? So using the corner of my blade, I'm not actually using the whole blade. And that's because I don't want to make a guideline. So if you don't want to make a guideline, you use the corner of the blade. If you want to fade, you use the corner of the blade. If you want to use a feathering technique, you can call this a feathering technique. You use the corner of the blade. So if you don't want to make a line, make sure you use the corner, right? Also, make sure you're using two hands when you're doing a haircut. One haircut to comb or brush it down. I like to use the comb. In most cases, sometimes you can use a brush. I don't like to use the brush because uh, it holds a lot of hair. So. Sometimes the hair sticks to the head and you, you may have to use a brush, right? So after I take the one guard off, I have no guard on here and I'm using the corner of the blade. You see what I'm doing right here? I'm using the corner and I'm just feathering, feathering, detailing, making sure it looks exactly how I want it to look. You see that? Boom, we in that thing, you see that? Boom, corner of the blade, that's all you have to do, right? Corner of the blade, that's the action that we're working with. And I kind of wanted to get a better view. This is a barber. One of my barbers in the barber shop. This is a barber in the chair that I'm cutting his hair. He's doing a lot of moving for him to know that he a barber and to know what we go through. See how he keep turning his head? So my angle wasn't all the way correct sometimes, but you, this angle actually gives you a great look at my corner technique, right? This is all corner work because if I had it like dead on, you probably couldn't see it that much. But this is all corner work, right? Boom. Now, after we're done with that, we can do a little clip over comb work right here if we want to. If you see a little bit, and it's not really much that I need to do right here because everything just started blending in. But you can see right here, I take it, boom. A little bit of clip over comb work just to make it smooth. The good thing about clip over comb, it, it allows you maximum detailing capabilities right you can customize it you can do a lot with clipper of a comb you can get in spots that you can't do with your clippers your clippers might take too much off but if you clip over comb it'll make everything smooth once you learn how to work this really well then your haircuts will go to another level trust me So next, all we want to do is just finish out the back. We want to taper the back, right? We want to knock that out. So boom, we come. We got our one guard right here. And I'm just cleaning it up. I'm, I'm debulking a little bit, but I'm trying to remove the line. 
I'm picking spots to make everything blend in so it'll all lay right, but then I'm gonna remove that bottom line from the haircut on the taper. And all I really need right here after I use this one, all I really need is to take the guard off, have my lever open, work it till it gradually closes till the line eventually goes away. Now, on to the lineup. I'm going to use the enhancements on this lineup, Mr. Eyeliner Detail and Mist. Quick, real quick, the Detail and Mist should be in shortly, like quickly. So, be on the lookout. I'm going to post it on my IG. If you don't follow me on IG, it's Mr. Outliner also. The same as, as YouTube. Everything, if you want to find me, just type in Mr. Outliner, M R dot O U T L I N E R, right? Just type it in and you'll see. You can go to the link in my bio, boom, you can click, you can buy. And sometimes I leave it in the description box on here too, right? So we'll be back in stock real soon. So you want to spray your Mr. Outliner detailing mist, you want to let it dry, you want to brush it, then you want to let it dry, right? You just want it to sit in place. Now, before adding enhancements, we want to do a natural lineup first. Now, check this out. These are the absolute hitters by Gamma. A lot of people say theirs don't hit like this. I think I'm going to have to do a video on how to adjust your trimmers. And I don't do nothing spectacular. I'm just going to show you exactly what I do um, and see if it works for use. But a lot of times, too, it's how you use your trimmer, right? But you see I'm making crispy lines. Also, you need an agent that assists you in making crispy lines sometimes, right? So that's what the Mr. Outliner Mist does. It dries the skin, makes it where I can make crisp lines, right? It holds the hair in place. A lot of things go into making a sharp liner, seriously, right? A lot of things go into place. So here, I'm just taking my time, right? I'm keeping everything natural. Now his lineup is, he got a good line, uh, a good natural hairline. It's a little iffy in certain spots. So that's, he likes color. He uses it on himself, right? I just wanted to do the video just to show y'all, you know, what's going on with it and how to achieve it. Flip them around on this side. We got the exact same thing going on. We want to brush it, make sure, brush it, comb, whatever you want to do to make sure the hair is where we want it. But you see this? I'm making sharp lines. I'm not pushing them back. Everything is natural, right? No color on this. If it's color on this, it's because he always put color on his hair. It's not that I added anything to it. This is his natural, supposedly his natural hair, right? You can tell he used color, though. Right, but I'm still making sharp lines with this. I'm taking my time, I'm being intentional on where I place my blade, right? I'm being very intentional on where I post, uh, place my blade. And just taking my time, that's all you need in order to start making good lineups. A little patience and be intentional, right? Now, 
to the front of the line, right? We did the sides. It makes it easier once you do the sides to line up to the front. So we start in the middle. You can see on the right side of the screen, his hairline is a little down. It's a little up on the, on the left side of the screen. That's okay. We're going to try to keep everything as natural as possible. We're already going to add enhancements. It may be a tad bit off, right? But that's okay. It's better than, for me, in my mind, it's better than pushing it back. I still got a sharp line on him and everything, right? You might even say, oh, well, he don't need enhancements. Maybe, maybe not, but that's what he like, right? So that's what you do, and that's, and also, if you don't like enhancements, you need to like them, because it'll bring you more money, right? You can charge more for that, which we already probably know, right? But if you're a beginner, uh, uh, or if you're on the fence about using them, hey, make, make sure you use it, right? I used to be on the fence too, I'm an older bar. But now, you know, I know and I understand that you have to use that in order to, you know, get the look, especially if you're trying to build clientele, like Instagram, social media, or something like that. You gotta make your clients look like superstars. They line up crispy. Everybody wants that. You know what I mean? Like TV ready, right? So that's what I did right here. So this is his natural line, and it's important to make the natural line first before you use the hands. Now, first, I take my um, my enhancements, my color, right? I'm using OG Walker. He sells a color that's already mixed, and you don't have to really do nothing. I do add a couple drops of alcohol to mine just to make it spray out my uh, compressor better, right? When I was almost finished with the compressor, I ran out, the power ran out, but I got majority of the lineup done um, enhanced before it ran out. So after that, I'm going to come back and I'm going to use my hair building fibers to, to lock it in to make it look even better. Now pay attention, when I first grab my, my atomizer, my hair atomizer, I want to spray it first, right? Out, see that? Because it come out too thick. So now I just want to, I, now I can go ahead and start spraying it because I feel like it's an even flow now, right? So I'm using that, boom, look at that. We, we got action. This all came from a natural lineup. Not nothing that, you know, I sprayed on first and didn't have a natural line. This is his natural line. Now, all we gotta do after we got everything on, we can lock it in with some hair fibers. I mean, we can lock in the hair fibers. We can come back and we can use our trimmers to go ahead and make sure everything is super crisp now that we have all of our enhancements in place.
Now, we put a little moisturizer on top of his hair, and boom, he ready. We, we sponged it a little bit. Now, if you see anything else, you want to finish the detail, you want to cut a little bit of hair, clip it off, make it look good. Do your thing right here. Make You know, put your finishing touches on it and everything like that. But that's the end of the video. How y'all like the haircut? Make sure y'all leave comments down in the description, right? Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Y'all know how we do this thing, right? But anyway, like I say, let me let me let me give y'all the whole spiel. Uh, don't forget like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. I'm out.